Kristina Sambi and today's video or today's tutorial is on how to do this adorable little baby girl's sandals, little slippers uh, for your baby shower. I'm doing I'm doing it as uh, baby shower favors for my own baby shower and they're really quick to do and not that hard and they look so original and you can put them on your tables and give them for the baby shower favors or like a remembrance so let's get started and excuse me first I don't have any energy to do my makeup but I have the energy to do my little sandals so let's get so this is what you need you need foamy and the colors that you like I got the sheets that 12 by 18 in Michaels so that way it's easier for me to do it and then I have I will add the template to the description box so this is the sole I did nine and a half centimeters this is like the front part of the sandal and this is the little strap and I have added all the measurements there I will add it to the description box so you can do it yourself as well and uh, so you end up I ended up cutting it in another piece of paper the templates that way I keep my template for further uh, references and to help you guys do it so I cut it I cut it and then I went ahead as you can see I already cut here I just trace with a pencil I trace over my template and made all the ones that I needed and then you end up having just your little pieces of the foam with the sole the thing for the sole I did too because my uh, foamy here is really thin and the sole was getting like crumbled up uh, so see the set the measurements is they are the um, focus camera the 12 by 18 inch, the 30.4 centimeters by 45.7 centimeters, and, and it's pretty thin, so I doubled it. Only on the sole, nothing else. So you cut it, and then you're gonna need, uh, uh, for the rest of it, uh, you're gonna need, I'm using the contact cement, um, but you can use hot glue, I'm just doing this because I didn't have hot glue when I started doing it, so I'm not going to do it. And I have the markers according to the foam, the color of the foam. Then you're going to add it. This is to diffuse like the edge, how I did here with pink one. So, to go around it, I'm going to show you the purple one. Just to add a little bit of more dimension. And then you'll need white um, uh, acrylic paint. This is from Cosmart. I also bought it at Michael's. And this is to make the dot on the shoe. I use the end of the of the paintbrush, the other end, and I just use it for that. I also have I bought these um, paper tags. These are little feet, and these are little baby pacifiers. That way, I can add um, the my name, you know, my name and the date uh, for the baby shower. See Nana's baby shower. And so I don't have to write in the actual little shoe. This one is the little pacifier, and this one's the little feet. So it looks so cute. I also bought these little flowers, and I, I believe I bought them in Joann's. I had a coupon, so I bought those like that. They were on the, I already took them out, but they were on the off. Offray, focus camera, please. On the Offray accessory, six pieces. So I'm only doing um, 14 of them. So I got the pink one and the purple one, but it really depends on what you want to do. And this is what we're gonna do. Um, so I already had uh, glued these two soles together. So if you were have, if you were to have it. Oh, also let me tell you one more thing uh, you need ribbon according to the color of the thing purple you see I cut this in half I bought this one actually at the dollar store is the six yards 5.5 mid limit or the five and five eight inches there we go 
and it was too thick so I ended up cutting it in half so I can go around the little shoe and you'll need that as well and um, I'll see here here's like the actual piece of tape where the flowers are stick to it so here le let me give you an example see I'm gonna have the two soles and the other part, whoopsie, that's the other part of the thing. Um, the two soles, and then I'll be sticking them together with the cement glue or the hot glue, depending on what you have. And then I'll have this part, right? I don't know if you notice in my, in my template here, I have these little markings. And that's where your little sole are going to go, the little strap. And then that's where the little front part is going to go on the front of the sole. So I already have that mark here. So this is what you do now. Uh, with the contact cement, uh, oh, if you use this one, you better use a mask because it's really strong. It stinks. Maybe you might want to do it with the hot glue. I started doing it with this because um, I wanted to do it like this. So. I started with this thing but it really stinks so you might wanna you know just for references so I just put a little bit of the hot not the hot glue the contact cement here on the little edge like so and on the other little edge like this then I'm gonna go to my shoe and then with the little markings I'm gonna press in that little area with one finger and then I'm going to add it to the other area with my other finger like this and press and hold the two straps together with the sole this contact cement I gotta tell you the less that you use not to soak it the faster and quicker that they stick to each other so just hold until they are perfectly secure so once they are attached to the bottom like that you grab your other piece which is the front part and then you'll do one one side at a time so you just add like I showed you the contact cement to one side and then you check where you had your markings like right here on the front which is most likely going to be like towards both of the ends right here are going to be touching so you see these two ends are going to be touching so it doesn't really matter if you actually touch the line on the front but I'm just I just put it for your more uh, reference so you just press and try to curve it like the figure of the little sole right here so it has the body uh, and then you have it like that and then you do the other side as well and remember if you're using the contact cement don't soak it a lot it's just a little brush like this because if you put a lot it, it takes longer to stick so you just want to have enough right whoopsie so you put it again like that and then you hold 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 until they are stick together so once they are stick together you want to grab one more time well two more times the hot glue right here we want to put the hot glue the contact cement i'm sorry you want to put the strap under the little lip right here now grab the lip and the very on the very tip 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 you don't want to stick the strap to the other side right you just fold this is my camera grabbing this properly and then you fold and stick all the way on the bottom like so press and then because you won't have movement on the strap like if it was an actual shoe you know it looks cute so you have it like that and I just dab it if you have excess you can just take it off and then hold on to the other side and then you have a little shoe well the foam part done just like that after you have that you want to go ahead 
and grab your ribbon and then since if you cut it like me I'm gonna use the stronger side uh, from one side and then whoops I got my finger stuck there and then stick it all around we're gonna use and make it to the side so we're gonna start from the back where the little hill would be and we're gonna add all around all around like this the contact cement and then we're grabbing our ribbon and putting it like this so it sticks all around the sole and here we're creating what we have the little sole on the bottom like this you see just like that so once you have added the ribbon all around, now we go with our marker and then we are just going to go in all the edges like this. I'm going to add this one right on the inside as well, just like that to add more color and dimension to the little shoe. I think it just looks more cuter. No matter if you touch the other side because we're going to use the white dots. So, that's the next part you grab your white paint and then the end of the brush and then you just start doing little dots all over the shoe just like this so like if I said see you made a little mark with the marker you can just add a circle there and it's all done and good so you so once you have added the circles with the paint, um, since I already finished my white, not my white, my pink flowers, I'm going to show it to you on the purple ones. So you just grab your little flower that you have and you just simply add it to the middle and that's all you do. The shoes are done. You just add your little tag like I told you. And they are ready to go. Oh, they're so cute. So that's it. You saw it was really fast to do. So hopefully you like it and you do it for your friends or your own baby shower. These are mine. I'll see you next time on the next tutorial or video. Bye. Keep on shoes.